I don't know who's speaking next, but I'll pass the mic to you, Isaiah. All right, child, once again, once again, we are out here to do the work. We are out here for justice, and we are not out here for just today. We are out here long term. So our next speaker, I'm going to bring somebody up who's been out here longer than, I, than anybody I know just about. So I'm going to pass it off to the awesome, the amazing, the wonderful new Paul Kiazolu right now. Say his name. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. Say his name. Tyree Nichols. My name is Nupal Kiazolu. I'm 22 years old, and I'm one of the organizers of tonight's protests. And we all know why we're out here today. Tyree Nichols, another black life stolen at the hands of state-sanctioned violence and police brutality. Now, some people may be confused. A lot of people are quote-unquote shocked. But for black people in this country, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. And just because the officers are black, does not absolve this situation from white supremacy. So to all the white people out here right now, I sincerely hope you are not comfortable. I sincerely hope you are not complacent. Because at the end of the day, as I stated before, this goes back to white supremacy. Black enslaved people were slave catchers. White folks hired other black people during that time to murder our own. This is indicative of the same things that have been happening since we touched these shores in 1619. So don't be shocked. This is nothing new. And quite frankly, I am tired. We're here in New York City. We have a clown in chief, Eric Adams. And a black, and a black police commissioner. And a black police commissioner. They keep saying, if we diversify the police force, that'll solve police brutality. They keep saying, more black and brown representation in law enforcement matters. But I'm here to tell you that is a lie. That is a lie and black faces and positions of power does not equal liberation. You do not have to be white to be an agent of white supremacy. I'm going to say this again. You do not have to be white to be an agent of white supremacy. All of those officers involved and all these corrupt black elected officials and police officers are indicative of the statement I just made. So now what are we going to do? Are we going to stay complacent? Are we going to stand up and fight back? Are we going to stand up and fight back? Are we going to stand up and fight back? There is no time for complacency. And as you see, this country is rubbing in our face. Black lives truly do not matter to this system. Notice how quick they were to bring charges against those officers. Someone take a wild guess as to why this process was expedited. Please, anyone, shout it out. Because they were black. So to the black officers listening right now, if you think that you are protected behind that badge, you are sadly mistaken. To the black officers listening to me 
right now, you are not blue. Your ass is black. You are not exempt from the realities of black people across this country when you take your black ass out that uniform. So it is time to stand up and be for real about it this time. Because in 2020, y'all was playing. This is not a joke. Black people are dying. And even at the hands of our own. I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. The 73rd precinct terrorizes my community. You want to know what most of those faces look like that I see? They look like me. They're black. They're brown. So again, representation will not save us. The only compromise is abolition. The only compromise is abolition. We need to stop beating around the bush. How many police reform policies have we fought for? How many have been put in place? When will this country recognize that this system does not give a flying fuck about us? So we have to take this country back. White people, it is up to you to lead the charge in dismantling the systems that y'all created and benefit from. Go into your white communities. Educate yourselves. Each one teach one. And explain to your bigoted uncles, your bigoted moms, your bigoted best friends how this system works and how y'all have benefited of it. For over 400 years, y'all have benefited from this system. Just because you weren't on the plantation terrorizing black people does not mean you have not benefited from that oppression to this day. This country was built on the backs of black people. Stop putting all of the labor on black people to dismantle a system they didn't even build to begin with. So I'm not saying no more. I think the message is pretty clear. It's time for us to show up truly. It is beyond a hashtag. Black people are not here to be your martyr. Tyree Nichols is not a martyr. He wanted to live just like me and just like every black person around this country. We want to be free. And we are not asking. We are not begging. We are going to take it and we are demanding it. So I'm going to end it with this. The Asada chant. Say it three times. And each time you get louder. So repeat after me. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect each other. We must love and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect each other. We must love and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. 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 I say thank you.